My motivation is innate. It comes from within. I'm not motivated by external factors. Oh, I'm going to get that out. The Q7, all black. Put some black rims on there. Take the window black, all black, everything. I'm going to go get that out. But that Audi does not drive me. It does not motivate me to get to where I am today and to continue to pursue my dreams. The goal is to penetrate hearts of millions around the world. One day you'll see me now the war. So I'm old. Jay-Z and Beyonce. <laughs> in the middle. They're working in the anthem. They don't stick to the set. And so, <laughs> those things don't drop. That's on the back. It's just ending. I know within that I have to get some, I have to get the job done. Hey, yo, hey, yo, what up, what up? It's your boy, Hollywood. And what's going on? It's your girl, Judy Blue. Welcome to Hollywood and Friends, the YouTube channel. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow us. Our ads are down below. Usually you see us doing challenges and all that good stuff, but today we're going to be interviewing someone that's real close to us who's doing big things out on the West Coast. Say what up to... Miss Anita Jones, what up? Miss Jones, what up? Hey, what up? what's going on? How y'all doing out there, in BK? We what good, up? we good, good. we good. You, you miss Brooklyn? I sure do, I sure do. <laughs> but you happy? Not to the least. I was about to say, you happy to have made it off the elevator? <laughs> no doubt, no doubt, no doubt. So that's what we want to talk to you about. You got this whole uh, company. You do motivational speeches and all that good stuff. Tell us about your company, Made It Off The Elevator. Well, what Made It Off The Elevator is, it's a personal and professional development company. And our goal is to motivate, penetrate hearts, and change lives. What we do is, you know, we share my personal stories to inspire people to be all that they can be. Oh, gotcha. And to explain to them that no matter what your circumstance is, you can be everything that you want to be. You just have to work hard and you have to be dedicated to it. Right on, right on. So a little bit of your, your backstory, like what motivated you to even go this route, go this right. path? Well, you know, uh, Coney Allen, Coney Allen, born and raised. Born in Coney Island Hospital, raised in 31st is the worst. Brooklyn. I know. The Wild Wild West. West. And, um, it, you know, it was an elevator, right? It was an elevator, and the elevator is the heart of the building. It's in the center of the building. Right. And so I had to ride up on that elevator. I had to get to the 12th floor. And I noticed that on this elevator, not too many good things happen, right? So we have people who come home from prison, they got their shirt off, getting on the elevator. <laughs> Children get molested on the elevator. Women get raped on that elevator. People die on that elevator, you know? Right. You sometimes smell the, the, the feces and the urine on the elevator. And so I made it off. And I didn't make it off strictly based off of growing up in that building. I ended up getting separated from my family, you know, being placed in foster care. And I think at that moment, once I, you know, became a, a, a foster child is when, you know, doors began to open for me. That's okay. what's up. That's what's up. And what I mean by that is doors began to open for me is that I was placed in good care. I was placed with someone who not only talked the talk, but walked the walk. And she showed me and she told me, you know, she was showing me and also she was explaining to me that just because, you know, the majority of people around you aren't doing anything with their lives and your parents wasn't in your life and your mother died of AIDS and your father had 26 children doesn't mean that that has to be your life. You write the pen to your story, and you're in control of your destiny. Your father so, had 26 uh, children? I took those words, I and I actually put them to work one day. 
Your father had 26 children. Like, bring that back. Bring it back. Rwanda? Yeah. yeah. 26? My father has 26 children. That boy was a rolling stone. Wherever yes, he laid down, was his day, 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 day. And when he died. You know? No, he's not. <laughs> he was that he made his home, but out of all of them, I was the only one that wasn't born out of wedlock. He married mm. my mother. Oh, okay. Nice. Um, how Do you have a relationship with your dad? Uh, I do not. No? Okay. And he not at all. He probably played a uh, part of playing a role into your choosing of this, this path. As well, right. Um, I mean, the absence of my parents definitely um, influenced me to want to be great. You know, want 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 more than what my circumstance was. You know, like a little bit. It wasn't strictly my circumstance that helped me realize my purpose in life, right? Because we have people who are living and they going to work every day. But they can't stand going to work. They hate what they do. They just doing it so that they can survive. You know, well, I've been blessed to learn my purpose. And I didn't learn that in the midst of Coney Allen. I didn't learn that through the process of foster care. I didn't learn that uh, during, during my military career. I actually learned that uh, shortly, not, not too long ago, what my purpose was. You should have said made it off the island because. <laughs> <laughs> Before the dumb wave hit. Well, I made it off the island a minute ago when I went from Coney Island to Bed Side. That was a transition for me. Big transition. <laughs> How's Cali though? How you liking it out there? Cali is cool. I mean, I'm in a state where the sun is always shining and most people are shady. <laughs> right, right. Facts. So tell us, where do you I see mean, yourself? Where do you see yourself going with this company? Like, where do you see yourself going with Made It Off the Elevator? What, what's your main, main goal? Well, you know, the main goal is to change lives. It's to, it's to penetrate as many hearts as I can around the world. It's to be an international company. It's to speak to millions, you know. And even if I have an audience of 80,000, if I penetrate 5,000, that's enough for me. Right. You know, because then that 5,000 is going to go on and penetrate someone else, I'm hoping. But that's the ultimate goal, right? The, the money comes after the success, by the way. You know, so it's not all about the money. Right. It's about helping people change their lives. It's about inspiring people to be all that they can be. People with adverse backgrounds, right? People with adverse backgrounds come in all different shapes, sizes, and forms, and from all different places. They all don't ride no elevator. Right. Right. So I had to think about how can I take this concept and apply it to people who've never even rid ridden the elevator before, who come from similar adverse backgrounds, who deal with the same it's like poverty in similar circumstances. And I did. Speaking right. of that, you just spoke to, um, what is this, the first uh, generation college uh, veteran students? That was a big event uh -huh. for you. How was that? It was, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. I had the audience in the palm of my hand. Really I did cool. my thing. I was moving through, you know, utilizing H Wood, H Wood theme song, <laughs> help me out with that. Maybe you know, the elevator. Uh -huh. you know, you know, I'm the so obviously you feel like this is your calling. So if you could have anybody mentor you, who would it be? It would be Eric Thomas, E.T. the hip hop preacher. That's my main man right there. That's that's somebody that I really look up to and I inspire to be like okay. in, in a lot of different ways. And a lot of people don't know, like people like you are very important and needed because you could feel down, you could feel like you just want to give up or whatever. And that's those motivational speeches are not to be like taken lightly because just from um looking at some of your your speeches or even Eric Thomas. And you leave that, you leave that, uh, watching that feeling like, damn, like, 
maybe I could maybe I could do it. Some maybe. people a lot of people need that because we're in a a generation where depression is mm-hmm. serious and we really a lot of people really need that. You know, and not everybody have people that they could just call up and talk to. But when you got channels like YouTube or Facebook nowadays, and you posting your work and all that, people could just go on, and you you might just change lives that you don't even know you changing outside of the, the room that you're you're speaking to. That's a fact. Absolutely. Yeah. But Absolutely. I'm I'm super blown away by by your work because when I first heard about. Uh, you or I shouldn't say first heard about it, but first seen your work. I think it was last year I seen a video you posted, and this is somebody who we grew up with and know. And I'm like, yo, look at me, the like. Did all types of <laughs> did all types of stupid shit with right. We did all types of stupid shit. And just to see you up there doing exactly. your thing, I'm right. just like, yo, like that's what's up. Like you motivate me even so. That's a fact. Fast shouts to you on that. That's what's up. That's a fact. Yeah. She like that's it's like up. it takes up. one, it takes one person to move for everybody else to move, and that's how I look at it. I look like I look at her like the queen ant or something like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we all holding on to her big ass booty and shit. Well, I'm a slap. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. man! So what's what's next for you? What, what's next for you? I know it's the end of the year, but I know 2019 is gonna be super prosperous. But what's next for you, like in the immediate future? Well, there's some things I don't want to put out there, but I just want to say this: that I'm closer to e- I'm closer to ET than most people may know. Man. But I'm not gonna go in depth with what's what's coming. <laughs> um, I just became a part of the emoji program. Um, all right, so let me add this. Besides me being a motivational speaker, I'm also a professor. I teach at uh, uh, Mount San Jacinto Community College in San Jacinto, also Menifee Campus, and they build one right here in Temecula. And hopefully I'll be a part of that soon. Nice. Um, and, uh, and, 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 and the business. But what's coming, I, I'm a part of the emoji program. And it's a program that they uh, intertwine within a community college where they primarily focus on African-American students, getting African-American professors to teach African-American students, providing them with different benefits, um, guiding them as they go through. And I'm looking forward to that. I just got on board with that last week. Um, I'm also looking forward to uh, Eat the Nugget Sundays coming soon, 2019. I'll be dropping a lot of nuggets every week. Need um, the business, the business is taking flight. I got some other things coming up, and so we'll see. We'll see what's coming. You know, um, I'm looking for this business to become a multi-billion-dollar company one day, and um, I'm just looking forward to the future. You got to take it one day at a time. You know, that's what it's well, about. Well, we're gonna keep everybody posted, and we're gonna make sure that we continue to show your progress and the things that you're trying to do right now. This is the first interview of, of many, because I'm sure it's just up, up, up. So uh, let people know where they can find out more about your work, any social media links, whatever. We'll post it as well, but let people know. Oh, you can find me at, at Miate, Miate, M-I-O-T-E. Miate! <laughs> you can find me on YouTube at Anita, I believe it's YouTube at Anita Jones. You can also find me on Instagram at Made It Off The Elevator LLC. Um, you can email me at Made It Off The Elevator at gmail.com. And uh, so far, so far, that's that's all my, my reach. My, um, the, the website is currently under construction. And um, I'm looking forward to that being completed real soon. Real soon. Nice, nice. Well, we're going to play the theme song and all that. And thank you for uh, being great, giving us something to, to aspire to, you know, be like. And keep keep inspiring, keep motivating, keep doing your thing. We're going to post all your links. We're going to play the theme song, all that good stuff. Made it off the elevator. That's right. So. I just want to ask for all those that's out there listening who's going through some sort of struggle, who feel like they can't make it, who think that their circumstance is going to hinder their future, I'm here to tell you that your circumstance does not control your destiny. You are 
You write the you are the writer of your destiny. You control your destiny and keep on keeping on. That's what it's all up. about. One time for Miss Anita Jones. Yeah, yeah. No doubt, no doubt. All right. Take care. It's still light out there. It's all dark. It's here. all dark over here. <laughs> Crazy. Listen, the sun is always shining, but most of the people are shady. Which one would you prefer? <laughs> Dropping nuggets already. Nuggets it is Sunday. Sunday. It is Sunday. <laughs> All right, y'all. We love you. East Coast is the best coast. Don't ever forget that. Facts. Never. All right, so we'll and talk to you later. Don't you forget it. That's not his song. Biggie. That's no. not his song. I didn't say it was no. his song. Did I say remember She's this singing. Song? Who's, who's I'm just song saying. Is I'm that? just saying. It's like Glenn Biggie. Thomas. Just who is that? No. If I got to choose the coast, I got to choose the east. I live out there, so don't go there. I can't with you. <laughs> <laughs> you should have said, if you don't know, now you know, <laughs> well, nigga. Well, let's edit that. If you don't know. She's like, and don't you forget it. <laughs> Trust you your body, you ain't love. <laughs> Hope is what you heard. It was all a dream. Facts. <laughs> Motherfucking right. My pocket's looking kind of tight. And I was just. Yo, baby, let me get the best. We out, though. All right. Me out there. Me out there. I work you, they got that trace on the shit. I make it off the elevator. That's right, like I made it off the elevator. You never outwork me, I'ma outwork you. You said you got big trees, time to show it. So you can make it off the elevator. That's right, like I made it off the elevator.